G'day and welcome to MW Laser, my name is Matthew. In this video I'm going to have a look at the wireless handle for the Ruida controllers. The model is BWK301R. Now this is compatible with the RDC64 XXG controllers. So in this case I'm going to install it on an RDC6445 controller. You can also install it on other 64XXG controllers such as the RDC6442. Now the wireless handle enables uh, communication with your Ruida mainboard so that you can work where the work is being processed rather than at the control panel itself. So if you're trying to position work in your laser machine, you can use the wireless handle to position your X and Y axes. You can also use it to adjust your Z axis and, and your focus. It also enables you to do things like mirror alignment so that you can move your axes and pulse the laser without the need to return to the control panel to do those functions. Now there's some functions that can't be done on the wireless handle and still need to be performed on the control panel itself. So let's open the box and see what we get here in this kit. So first of all we have the uh, wireless receiver which has a, uh, a socket for the antenna as well as a DB9 connection. We have a wiring harness which is used to connect to the wireless receiver as well as the controller. We have the antenna. Underneath we have the wireless handle. And you will require some AAA batteries for this one. So to install the batteries, just remove the, uh, the rubber from the outside of the wireless handle. And undo the screw at the back and install, insert two AAA batteries into the battery compartment. And then return the handle back into the rubber handle. So with the wireless receiver we have the aerial socket on the back and we remove the protective cap and screw in the aerial plug. Next we get the wiring harness and the DB9 connector and connect it into the other side of the wireless receiver. Now I'm going to pop a wiring diagram up on the screen here and to show you where the uh, wireless receiver plugs in. So we have one socket that plugs straight into the back of the uh, RDC6445 controller here and then you also have a 5 volt power supply or providing power to the wireless receiver. And in this case it's being provided by the U-axis uh, connection. Now if you have a U-axis on your machine then all you need to do is just remove the wire from the plug that's pre-installed and insert it and connect it up to the 5 volt connection there on the U-axis and that's just to provide 5 volt power for the wireless receiver. Now the wireless aerial itself does have a magnetic base so that you can attach it to a metal surface and that's the same for the wireless handle. It has the magnets in the back there to uh, so if you've got it on top of your machine it's not going to get knocked off onto the floor. Now the wireless handle works parallel with the laser controller so you don't have to disconnect or reconnect anything. If you want to use your control panel you can use the control panel to operate your laser machine and then if you want to use the wireless handle you don't have to disconnect or reconnect it it'll just function as it was they work parallel and seamlessly together. So now with the machine on uh, there's no configuration required straight out of the box we can start using the handle. Now I'll go through the different buttons and explain what they do. So we start at the top row here of buttons. We have the shutter button, which is used in fiber laser cutting to turn on and off the laser. The auxiliary toggles the auxiliary gas or air, and the follow is for the height control. Now these functions are not used on the RDC 64XXG controllers. Now these two buttons, the pulse and the frame button, they operate the same as on the control panel itself. So pulse will pulse the laser and frame will frame the work area. So this next set of nine buttons uh, are the axis controls. So we have the X and Y axis, and on the uh, right hand side we have the Z axis, up and down. And if you have a U axis, you can also control that using the U up and down buttons. Now the button in the middle is the fast slow button that enables you to toggle between fast and slow movements of those axes. And that does require some configuration in the software. So this next row of buttons has the home origin and cancel. So the home will return to the homing position or back to the stop position. Origin enables you to set the origin at the current position uh, or user origin and cancel will cancel the current operation. The next row down is the start, reset and stop. So start will start your cutting or start the current job that's loaded on the controller. Reset is a full reset of that uh, Ruida controller. 
and the stop will stop the current cutting or cancel the current job. Now these function buttons F0, F1 and F2 are reserved for the manufacturers and for testing by Rueda. They cannot be configured by the end user. The F3 button is another button which is used to switch on or off the auxiliary gas and this can be used with fibre lasers or metal cutting lasers. Now the fast slow button in the middle of those cursors for the axes movements, that uh, is configured in the software as I mentioned. Now to do that using RD Works, go to the user tab up here on the right hand side, read the information from your control board, and then select other. Scroll down to where it says wireless panel, and where it says enable speed shift, select yes. And then you can set the fast moving speed in millimetres per second to what you want to toggle between, between fast and slow. So we have 110, uh, it will toggle between those two. Now we need to write that to the control board. Now to do the same in Lightburn, we select Edit, Machine Settings. It will read the information from the control board. If it doesn't, press the Read button. Now scroll down to Miscellaneous and enable the wireless panel here. As you can see, it's still on true from when we did it in RD Works, and we can select the uh, speed that we want. So we can adjust our speed, and once we've made those changes, write those changes to the control panel. And to do that on the controller itself, press Menu, go down to Controller Settings, press Enter, go down to Wireless Panel, Enter, and you can adjust those settings in here, and when you're finished, write it to the control board. So one of the reasons I purchased this was not to install on my own machine, but to help out a mate uh, who uses his laser machine regularly. He's confined to a wheelchair um, majority of the time, so positioning work in his laser machine was becoming difficult, having to reach over to this control panel all the time. So Wayne now can operate safely out of his wheelchair, uh, positioning work in the laser machine and uh, preparing the jobs. And being able to not fall over or um, reach into the machine, still control his uh, laser machine. This panel is going to help him stay safer. I just want to thank MW Laser for this. So good and it's so helpful being disabled. It has made my job so much better. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <Brilliant>. <laughs>